And time now for Consumer Confidential. David Lazarus, you said you would be back. You are here. Let's talk about the market. Like the swallows in Capistrano. Here I am. Here I am. And indeed, and today the, the story that everyone was watching for was would it turn into a buying opportunity after yesterday's more than 1,100 point drop in the Dow? But today's market was a study in indecision. Earlier on, Dow down by hundreds of points as traders were keeping their distance. But then in the last hour of trading, the Dow started heading northward and briefly went into positive territory before turning south again and, as we saw, ending the day down more than 200 points. What's driving this? Here's what it is. With inflation running this high and with the Federal Reserve already on record as saying they're going to do what they have to do to cool the economy and bring down consumer prices, traders are now trying to figure out how to price in the possibility, again, possibility, of a three-quarter point interest rate hike. So far, we've been seeing half-point rate hikes, and that's been fairly modest in effect, a three-quarter point rate hike, well, that would be more strong. It would uh, obviously do more for inflation, but it would raise the chances of a recession. And that's where all this volatility is coming from. Also, Target yesterday down 25%, today down another 5%. Really? Yeah. Wow. There's so okay. much going on, so much for consumers to yeah. think about and take in. All right, let's talk about Netflix still losing subscribers. In a big way. And Netflix has already warned the market that it expects to lose as many as 2 million subscribers this month. But in the first quarter, a new survey finds uh, about 13% of the roughly 200,000 people who canceled their subscriptions then were people who have been subscribers for three or more years. In other words, Netflix's best customers. Ooh, now what does that tell us? Well, on the one hand, what it could tell us is these long-term subscribers, at least this 13%, might no longer see that $15 monthly cost as good value for money. Or, like me, they could have just simply watched everything there is out there and have <laughs> exhausted all their possibilities, and now they're going to move on. But this is something that all streaming services are now focusing on. First of all, what's a good price point in this environment, and how many subscribers they can, can they expect in terms of growth? Mm -hmm. And then we talked about uh, McDonald's in Russia. You have an update to that. Yeah. McDonald's, which has been in Russia for about 30 years, or the first fast food chain from America to go there, is leaving and they put the company up for sale and now they have a buyer. Not a surprise here. It's the Siberian businessman who has been the franchisee for the brand for all of these years. He is now going to purchase it outright, but even though he'll get the stores, even though he'll get the stuff inside the stores, he will not get the golden arches. He will not get the brand. He's going to have to completely rebrand going forward. And since I'm here to help people, mm. here's what I suggest. Okay. Let's brand it <laughs> back in the USSR. Considered. They've already got a theme song. There it is. You've got it. A lot of restaurants, too. That's true. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. All right, David, great to see Thanks, you. Thanks, David.